It is a great honor for me on so many levels to help welcome everyone to this symposium honoring a truly remarkable scientist and trailblazer, the amazing Evelyn Witkin. Let me just touch on four of those levels. First, as Rutgers president, I share in the pride we all feel about the discoveries Dr. Witkin made and the spotlight her accomplishments have shown on the university over the years. Great universities are built on the achievements of their best faculty, and we are so happy and fortunate to call her one of our own. As a member of the human family, I am in awe of Dr. Witkin's dedication to helping us better understand how our cells respond to DNA damage. Her discoveries have had life-changing implications for how we treat and prevent diseases such as cancer and neurodegenerative disorders. Third, as the father of a daughter for whom I wish a world of possibilities, I am so deeply grateful for all the pathways Dr. Whitkin opened up for women in the biological sciences. In accepting the Lasker Award, she talked about how reading Sinclair Lewis's novel Aerosmith when she was young made science seem romantic and rewarding. In turn, her own real life career has inspired countless young women to make a life in science. And finally, as a black man, I can't thank Evelyn enough for what she did some 80 years ago. As an NYU senior, she stood up for a black football player, Leonard Bates, when NYU held him out of a game in a so-called gentleman's agreement with a segregated school, the University of Missouri. That courageous stance got her suspended from NYU, leading her to Columbia University for graduate work, where she would launch a career for the ages. For all these reasons and more, we gather virtually today to celebrate her 100 years of brilliance. Others much more qualified than I will speak in depth today about the contributions Dr. Whitkin has made to basic science in bacterial molecular genetics and the effect that her discoveries have had in the decades that have followed. And later, of course, we will honor her legacy by dedicating a laboratory in her name. But first, I want to thank all of you for taking part in this special day. And I want to salute Dr. Whitkin for the example she has set for us all in a career founded upon curiosity, marked by foresight and intuition and initiative, and filled with groundbreaking discoveries. To quote a fellow bacterial geneticist, James Shapiro of the University of Chicago, her fearless experiments into a totally unknown subject are a model for all young scientists. Thank you, Dr. Whitkin. We are so proud to honor and celebrate you today. <laughs>